and welcome to my seventh lesson of Swahili with Glory. And you're welcome to learn with me because I'm going to post every lesson I have over the month on this channel. So remember to like, subscribe, comment, and give me your feedback, give me your thoughts, write to me in Swahili with the words that we learned today, and I will look forward to practicing my Swahili with you. If you are interested in learning a language with italki as I am right now, you can check out the links in the description for uh, ten dollars off and also to use my name richard in the uh, promo code at checkout you'll get an extra five dollars too so enjoy learning languages enjoy learning swahili with me and i look forward to speaking to you again soon take care and if you're following along on duolingo you can see that i have made all of my uh, up to checkpoint one all of my little dots legendary purple and i have got now five of these opened up i decided that i would open these up quickly because i've already done numbers with glory and she keeps mentioning whether or not i know numbers so i wanted to practice them a little bit on here otherwise i will just go back and make all of these legendary and then move on with the course Nzuri. Ndio. Habari za mwaka mpya. Mwaka mpya. Mwaka mpya. Mwaka mpya is a new year. Ah, yeah, mwaka mpya. Yeah. Mwaka mpya ni nzuri. Ah, mwaka mpya ni nzuri. Yes. Um if I say how in Swahili is VP VP. VP, yeah. So if I say VP, is also like how. How. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes we use like, a, for example, people, they say Mambo, what's up? They say Mambo VP. Mambo VP. Like it, it, sometimes instead of saying Mambo, Mambo is what's up, but sometimes people, they say Mambo VP. Ah, VP, yeah. but VP, VP is like how. Mm -hmm. But we use it like, uh, for example, VP Maisha. It's almost like it, instead of J, J, we, we use like VP. Mm -hmm. For example, VP Maisha, how is life? VP Maisha. VP Maisha. Yeah, how is life? Maisha. VP, yeah, VP is like, how is it? How is life is? Like, how is it? VP. Vipi mambo, vipi, ujambo, sijambo, vipi, poa. Sometimes people they just say vipi. So, vipi. just vipi itself is like, a, how is it? Vipi, poa. Instead of saying mambo, they just like vipi. Uh -huh. okay. And then we say poa. Vipi familia. How is the family? Vipi familia. Instead of saying habariza familia, they say vipi familia. Uh -huh. And then we say familia hawajambo. VP is VIPI, just like how we use yeah. Mambo VP. Mambo VP. Yeah. VP Hali ya Hewa. Hali ya Hewa, Hali's condition. Uh -huh. uh, habari, Richard. Habari, habari, habari za mchana. Habari, nzuri, nzuri sana. Na habari yako. Uh, nzuri, uh, asante sana. Ndiyo. Mm -hmm. um, sawa. Habari za safari. <laughs> Salama. <laughs> Salama sana. Okay. Uh, sawa. Na tunaanza somo la saba. Somo la saba, the seventh lesson. Yeah. Yeah. So more la saba. Ah, Leo. Leo. Tutasoma. Leo tutasoma. Um, jinsi ya kusoma au kusema muda. Muda is time 
Muda is moment. Muda is also sa. Lakini, yeah. So, sa, for example, um, sa is always like the watch also. Mm -hmm. Watch. The clock is also sa. sa. Yeah. So, sometimes people, they say sa ngapi. They mean like what time. Sangapi, what time? If they want to say what time now, they'll say Sangapi Sasa. Sasa. Sasa, because Sasa is now, correct? Okay, uh, first yeah. time I've heard it, so yeah, Sasa. Ah, uh, Sasa. <laughs> yeah, Sasa is now. If we, if I ask you what time is it now, I say, how do you say? Sasa Sangapi Sasa. Yeah. What time? Sorry, sa ngapi sasa. Yes. What time is it now? Sa ngapi sasa. Sa ngapi sasa. What time now? Oh, it's okay to say sasa ni sa ngapi. Sasa ni sa ngapi. Can you say that? Sasa ni sa ngapi. Sasa ni sa ngapi. Now is what time? We, we, we use it a lot, but to tell people, what time will you, we meet each other? If you say we will see each other, the word for see is ona. Ona. Yes. But what about see each other? Ona is, uh, so you want to ask a person, what time will we see each other? Okay. Onana is see each other. How do we say, what time will we see each other? Okay, so um, sangapi, yes, uh, tuta onana, excellent. Uh, sangapi, tuta onana, sangapi, tuta onana, tuta onana. Uh -huh. What about what time will they see each other? Sangapi, um, wata onana, sangapi. Wata onana, correct. Nita um, kuonyesha, I will show you. Onyesha is to show the clock image. Let me copy this. Um, in Tutaona, uh, we will see. Tutaona, Vinci, how? Vinci, Yakusoma. Muda au sa. Kwa kuna two words. Sa and muda. Sometimes people they don't ask you sa sa ni sa ngapi, but they can say sa sa ni muda. Oh, they can say muda gani, the meaning time. Muda gani, what time? But we have to know the difference between this word. Muda, sa, wakati. We have like wakati. We have muda and Tuna, tuna sa. Tuna wakati, muda, na sa. All of them, they mean time, but in a different way. So if you learn the Swahili time, how to read Swahili time, kusoma. Kusoma is to read, correct? Mm -hmm. Sahihi? Kusoma, sahihi. Correct. Um, kusoma. Kusoma, sa, to read time. So how we read, there is one technique first. Ignore the clock how it is, but uh, the those yeah. So if if for example if it is seven a.m., mm -hmm. so from seven a.m. is when we start to say it's one. From seven a.m., so we count the first hour from seven a.m. or it can be seven p.m. It's the first hour. So okay. we have twelve hours, not twenty-four hours in Swahili. Twelve hours, and. Uh, after 12 hours, we don't say 13, but we start again one, okay. which in Swahili is moja. Mm. So the seven is moja, because it's the first hour. Mm. Eight is mbili. Uh -huh. And nine is tatu. Moja, mbili, tatu from seven. But okay. there is a technique to, to know how, if I can share my screen, I could show you. And so if you draw the straight line from 12, 
you, what you see it six so you say sasita mm -hmm. sasita and when the clock is showing six you'll say sa kuminambili because 12 in swahili is kuminambili okay if we draw the another straight line we are going toward the left so uh le left from the bottom so if we take seven straight line it goes to one so it is moja yeah. this is just a technique but you may not use that one this one you was using as a child <laughs> oh, okay. and then eight you draw to two the straight line oh, if you, you okay. take your handy clock you check the la straight okay. line from eight and two you know it is sambili you have to say in swahili mm -hmm. when it is nine straight line goes to tattoo which is three sa tattoo okay. When it is 10, the same thing, straight line goes to four. You say sa ne. When it is 11, straight line goes to five, sa tano. And then again, when it is 12, straight line is six, you say sa sita. Same thing, when it is one, you say seven. But let's see another technique. To see. So we said from 7 a.m., this is like the first hour. This is the first hour, 7 a.m. And then uh, when it is 8 a.m., it's the second hour. But we say this, we say sa moja. But the easy way is just be back six, minus six. So we, we minus six to get the actual time, but in Swahili. But if the answer comes to zero, you plus six instead. Or if the answer comes to negative, you plus six. You don't you're not allowed to have minus, which is negative, or zero sifuri in Swahili. Sifuri. You're not allowed to have that. So we actually plus all the time we minus six, minus six. So it's seven a.m. or seven minus six we get one, which is Samoja. Um, so 7 a.m., we said it what time? 7 a.m. is uh, one. Samoja, uh, yes. Yeah, Samoja. So the same thing, 8 a.m., you minus six, is what time? Um, so eight, that's going to be Mbili, two. Yes, 9 a.m. minus six, the same thing. When it is 12 a.m., 12 p.m.? At 12, so that will be... Sita, six. Yes, minus six is sa sita, correct. Sa sita. When it is 1 p.m.? Uh, 1 p.m., um, it will be sa saba. Yes, because we don't need negative, we add six instead. So it becomes sa saba, very good. Uh, when it is 3 p.m.? When it's 3 p.m., yeah. um, 3 p.m. goes to 9, so that will be sa tisa. Yes, uh, pizza. Uh, when it is 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. will be sa kumina nambili. Correct. 6 p.m. So we add 6, it becomes sa kumi nambili. Very good. Mm -hmm. But we need to know this word to say o'clock. And because 7 p.m. is also, what time is 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. is in the uh, oh, 7 p.m. will be, um, I'll be one again. So, yes, Samoja. So, Samoja. so it is very important to specify if it is Asubuhi or if it is Usiku night or if it is afternoon because people may not know you're talking about a.m. Mm -hmm. or p.m. if you just say Samoja. So, we have to remember this word first. Uh, Asubuhi is what? How in Swahili? How do we say Asubuhi? Asubuhi, morning. Asubuhi. Yeah. Yeah. Asubuhi is morning, correct? And afternoon? Uh, mchana. Mchana, good. This is afternoon. Evening? Gioni. Very good. Bizur sana. Gioni. And night? Uh, usiku. Correct. So we have to use this. But also how to say, so this is night, it is usiku. But also we need to know how to say o'clock. O'clock. And maybe with a minute. What is minute in Swahili? Dakika. Dakika, excellent. Bizuri sana. Dakika, this is minute. And o'clock, 
is Hamili. Uh, Hamili, mm. o'clock. Mm -hmm. So if it is seven o'clock, how will you say? Uh, seven o'clock, uh, then I would say Sa Moja Kamili. Yes, and then in the morning? Mm, asubuhi. Asubuhi, because we always end with a.m. So this is important to write at the end, asubuhi. Samoja Kamili Asubuhi. But Samoja Kamili, this is like this, a.m. But sometimes a person can say with zero meaning. Which zero in Swahili is? Sufuri. Sifuri. Sifuri. Good. Sifuri. Zero. So what is minute? Minute is dakika. Dakika. So you can say na dakika sifuri with zero na, minute. Dakika, sifuri. So yeah, sifuri. instead of saying kamili, somebody else can say sa. So let's put au, which au in Swahili is what? O. Or you can say sa moja na dakika sifuri. Not very common to say, but it's okay to say. And then you have to say it is morning, asubuhi, a.m. Yeah, okay. yeah, same like that. And then how will it be here? So let's mm. say eight with 10 minutes. We okay. say now with, how will it be? Okay, so sa mbili na dakika um, kumi. Correct, sa mbili na dakika Kumi asubuhi. Sambili na dakika kumi asubuhi. If it is night? Um, Sambili na dakika kumi um, usu, usiku. Usiku, very good. If, we want, if it is kota, we say robo. Robo. Yeah. Robo. 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 Then if we need no, sugar. Kota means what? What's kota? Robo. Yeah, what, like what? maybe it is quarter and then maybe it is half. But that's 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 15 oh, quarter, minutes. Quarter. Okay, sorry, I didn't yeah. I didn't quite understand. <laughs> I, yeah. Robert and said. half in Swahili is nusu. Nusu. Okay. Nusu. So we have nusu and we have robo. Nusu robo. it's 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Robo. But we have also asoro, asoro, robo, kota tu. Can you say kasoro, robo? Kasoro, robo. Kasoro, so the word kasoro comes from except. Okay. Yeah, it also minus like, yeah, kasoro, except. For example, if I say, um, at familia yangu, wataenda Tanzania, kasoro, mimi. What does it mean? Kasoro mimi. So uh, the without me. Yeah, with yeah, except me. Yeah. Yeah, me. we have with the word for without is bila. So my my family. Yeah. Familia yangu wata enda. Uh, wata enda. My family. Tanzania. Go to Tanzania. Kasoro mimi. Ah, uh, without except me. Except me. Or exactly. if I want to say all people. All people is in Swahili is watu wote. Watu is people. Watu wote wataenda o oh, watu wote wataenda ofisini. Asoro asoro John for example. O oh, asoro Maria. Asoro John na Maria. We can even put two words. Okay. So what except what, John and Maria. Watu wote would it be the all same? people all people so could you say also the kila kila mti every person kila mtu, yes kila mtu. Kila mtu. because it mtu is singular for watu so it will be every person very good mm -hmm. kila mtu. Kila mtu at the end, uh, yeah we it's 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 good because if you say all and then you say accept <laughs> so it's even good to say every person will go kila mtu Ata enda kasoro jona maria. Uh, let's take this one, the third one. And we put nine half. Okay, let's say total. 
quarter past nine. How will it be in Swahili? Um, a quarter past nine. So we've got to look at nine, which is three. <laughs> so yeah. sa, uh, sa tatu. Sa tatu, very good. Sa tatu um, na, na robo. Yes, sa tatu na robo, very good. Or, but you didn't say morning or night? Um, asubuhi. Asubuhi, a.m. And, uh, or another way, au. Oh. Um, I guess sa, sa tatu. Yeah. Um, Camille. Mm, Camille is o'clock. Oh, so you can only say o'clock, okay. Yeah, we want to say with 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So I can say na, na kumi na, uh, na tano. Yes, but what is minute? Yeah, da we kika? started a kika first, yeah. Ah, na da kika? Kumi yeah. na tato, na tano. Na dakika kumi na tano, correct. Mm -hmm. Sa tatu, na dakika kumi na tano, what? Night? Uh, asubuhi. Oh, night. Asubuhi. Um, asubuhi. Yeah, if it is night, it's usiku. If it's night, it's usiku. Yeah, correct. Okay. Sawa. Uh, what will be half past 12? Um, so, sita, uh, sa sita. Mm. I'm trying to think what half I have to look again. Nusu. Yeah, sa sita. Nusu. Na. Na nusu. Na nusu. Sa sita na nusu. What time? What? Uh, as, uh, so this is mchana. Mchana, very good. Or oh, I guess I could say sa sita uh, na dakika uh, tatu kumi. <laughs> Abana, fati. Fati. I feel like, <laughs> of course. Yes. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, telafini. Can you say telafini? Felatini, Felatini, afternoon, Felatini, yeah, of course. From China. This is um, this is Celtic counting. Yeah, system, my, my Welsh counting system. Uh, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> and then one pm. Um, one pm is uh, sa okay. So this goes round to to eight. So, mm. sa, um, sa nane? Mm. 1 p.m.? Oh, sa, no, sa, sa, saba. Yeah, it's 7. Sa saba, of course, saba. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. sa so saba. let's take, like, maybe this is 7, uh, 45 minutes. Okay. So then I, I guess it would be sa nane? Very good. Na kasoro robo. robo. Yes, because it will be like two, like 15 minutes to two. Mm -hmm. Kasoro robo. Very good. Oh, I don't need na. I just say sanane yeah. kasoro robo. Mm -hmm. Yes, sanane kasoro robo. PM? Uh, PM mchana. Mchana. And uh, what about? 5 p.m. This is evening. 5 p.m. Um, yeah. Let's do like with 55 minutes. Uh, okay. But also this one you can say or au sa saba na dakika 40 is arobaini. How do you say 45? Arobaini na uh, ne of ne 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 tano. Yes, arobaini na tano tana. So this is other way to say. Yeah, okay. And this one, 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. So um, this would be sa kumi na, na moja. Sa kumi na moja. Mm -hmm. um, and 
So that would be five. Na. Na. Fifty is Hamsini. Yeah, Dakika. Very good. Dakika. Hamsini. Uh, na. Tano. Tano. It can be Hamsini um, na Sita. Let's say Hamsini na Sita. And uh, or. Au. Or I could say sa. Um, sa kumi na mbili. Minambili. Uh, kasoro. Kasoro. Um, ne. A dakika ne. Excellent. Dakika ne. Mm -hmm. What is evening? Uh, sorry? PM. Uh, this one will probably be Gioni, I guess. Yes. Very good. Gioni. And uh, so this is six. Sakumi nambili. What about 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. Uh, yeah. It's going to be um, Satano. Satano, very good. Mm -hmm. Satano. With? Um, yeah. Satano na... Um, Daki kanane. Very good. Satano na daki kanane. Night. Okay. Um, usiku. Usiku. Very good. So from 12 a.m., even 1 a.m., even 2 a.m., even 3 a.m., even, uh, yeah, up to 3 a.m., this all for in Swahili. It's still usiku, it's night. We don't say a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we consider it is midnight. We don't have the word a.m. A.m. start from 4 a.m. Even sometimes people, they say it is still night. But I mean, five, 4 a.m. and 5 a.m., these are, these are considered morning. Absolutely. How will it be 12 minutes? 12 minutes, did you say? Yeah. I mean, Arucha, and Arucha is called the beat. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, yes. So 12 a.m., let's say with um, 20 minutes at night. So that's How will it be? right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So 20 is Ishirini. Mm -hmm. So how will it be this one? Um, so sa um, sa sita sa sita uh, na dakika ishirini yeah. ishirini mm -hmm. usiku usiku very good then we are good and then this one uh, uh, let's do mm -hmm. let's do for again. 15 a.m. 415. Mm. Um, okay. So four is gonna be sa kumi. Very good. Nadakika um kumi na kumi na tano. Very good. Um or we could say um uh, sa kumi. Na dakika, uh, no, not dakika, we just say na, na robo. Yes. Sakumi na robo, yeah? Mm -hmm. very, very good. Una vez aku nisikia? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. yeah. Asante. Kusikia. Okay. Kosikia is to hear. Kosikia. Yeah. Kikao. Kikao. Now in Swahili is meeting. Uh -huh. Meeting. Meeting, yeah. Meeting. Kikao. But we have also Mkutano. Conference. Mkutano. So Mkutano is the one I've seen in Duolingo. Yeah. Kikau, I haven't. 
Yeah. Unaweza kunisikia? Okay, kuna uh, uh, Nina um, okay. Nina weza kusikia. Very good. Yeah, unaweza kusikia. Carl Carl can be even two people. Uh -huh. Carl. And this word comes from car. Car is sit. Yeah, so sit. Yeah. Sit. For sit example, down. you tell people, sit down, please. Uh -huh. Down is chini. Mm -hmm. So if you tell a person, sit down, sit down, please. Kachini tafadali. Kachini tafadali. Sit down, please. Kachini tafadali. Sit down, please. Um, how do you tell a person the meeting will be 10 minutes? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, will be. We remember the verb to be. Yeah. Um. So it has to be. Kikao, kitakuwa. Kitakuwa. It will be because uh, it kita, is key. Uh, kitakuwa dakika kumi. Yes. Kitakuwa dakika kumi. Here. Au kikao, ni dakika kumi is 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You can say anyway here. Yeah. Depends on the context. Mm -hmm. How do you tell a person, I will sit for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. uh, ni taka. Yeah. Uh, ni dakika kumi. Akuwa yes, there is kumi. four. Kuwa. Very good. Again? Um, ni taka. Yeah. Kwa dakika kumi. Yeah, for 10 minutes. Ni taka kwa dakika kumi. Yeah. Ni taka kwa dakika Sour. So Mukutano is always big sometimes, like conference, like polyglot. Yeah. Mukutano, Mkubwa. Yeah. So, like any, um, sometimes people they say, where will we meet? Come also from Kutana. Meet. Kutana. Kutana. How do you tell a person, where will we meet? Okay. So, um, uh, what is where? Tuta tutatana. Tuta kutana. Tuta kutana. Ah, tuta kutana. Ah, okay. So this is the basic for okay kutana. So you yes. Can, cool. Yeah, tuta kutana. We will uh, meet. Tuta kutana wapi. Mm -hmm. Yes, tuta kutana wapi. And what time will we meet? Um, tuta kutana. Uh, yeah. Sangapi. Very good. Tuta kutana. Sangapi. How do you tell a person will meet at twelve p.m.? Uh, tuta kutana. Sa. Um, sa sita. Um, mchana. Yes. Tuta kutana. Sa sita. Mchana. Safi. Okay. Um, so PM to Tana Safita Mchana Safi Una Amka Sangapi Amka is to wake up, mm -hmm. yeah, or Uli 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 Amka Sangapi. What does it Amka is wake up? What does this sentence say? Um, what time do you wake up? Yeah, what time did you wake up? Like something like that. Did you? Yeah, did you? Uh, what time yeah, did what you time you wake up? Leo. Like yeah, Leo, yes, we can add that. You say this in, so in English also? What time did you wake up? Yeah, what time did you wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Uliamuka sangapi. What time did you wake up today? Niliamuka mm -hmm. uh, sa. Um, Samoja. Samoja uh, asubuhi. asubuhi. Yeah, Samoja asubuhi. Also, it's okay to not say o'clock. Just like English. Ah, sa, okay. Samoja 
I'm trying to think of the word. What is o'clock? I'm going back to look now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's, uh, oh, where was it? Okay, here we go. Camille. Yes. Samoja, Camille, Asubu. Yeah. Um, if you say the word usually, kawaida, usually. Kawaida. Yeah, it can also be normally. Mm -hmm. Or it can also be used like always. How do you say, I usually wake up 7 a.m.? Okay. Kawaida. Kawaida. Uh, Nina Amka. Nina Amka. Samoja Asubuhi. Samoja, uh, Samoja Asubuhi. Kamili Asubuhi. Yeah, Samoja Kamili Asubuhi. What time do you eat lunch? How do you say? Um, Sangapi. Yes. Um, ka Kawaida. Yeah. Um, uh, you eat? Una, una kula. Um, kula mchana. Deal. So, chakula, so kula cham chana. Deal. Mm -hmm. And Dina? So, sangapi. Yeah. Uh, kawaida. U, una, una kula. Uh, yes. Chakula cham chana. Sangapi, Kawaida, Akula, Akula, Chan, Chow. We have other way to say, like habitual. Uh, instead of saying Kawaida, we say Kula. You can then the next letter, no problem. <laughs> Okay, then let's learn, let's learn about how to use. For example, wewe hulala sangapi. Au wewe ufanya kazi sangapi. Or mimi ufundisha inaziku every day. Oh, CC, Utsafiri, Utsafiri, Ila, Waka. So instead of say, Awaida, it's also common to hear this word hu, hu, for habitual, but we can learn next lesson. Uh -huh. Okay. For now, we are using hu, uh, Kawaida, and usually. <laughs> Yeah, but this, if you find it, it's common. Mimi, who are like, we will we, we'll use it in the next lesson because we have other things to learn in the same thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how, uh, how do you ask me what time do you sleep uh -huh. today? Um, today, what? what? What time will you will you go to sleep? Or what time? Yeah, what time will you sleep? Yeah. Okay. Will you go? Yeah. Um, sangapi. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> utalala. Aleo. Yeah. Sangapi utalala leo. Correct. What time you will sleep today? Yeah. Sangapi utalala leo. Very good. What time you will work? Um, sangapi. Uta, uta, uh, what to work? Utawazi. Yeah, what is to do work? Kazi, utakazi. Yes, uta and fanya is to do, right? Utafanya kazi. Oh, yeah, yeah. utafanya. Mm -hmm. uh, utafanya kazi sangapi, it's also okay that. Okay, utafanya. Utafanya kazi sangapi. It's different to say masa, plural. Mangapi. Mangapi. Can you say this one? Masa mangapi. Masa mangapi. It is how many hours? It's plural. Okay. How do you ask? How many hours will you work? Uh, masa mangapi. Uh, utafanya kazi. 
Yes, mazao mangapi? Utafanya kazi. How many hours will the meeting be like? How many hours will the meeting take place? Uh -huh. It will be for how many hours? Oh, Masa. that will be, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, mazao mangapi? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Also, it's okay to say masa, mangapi, kikao. Also, it's okay. How many hours meeting? Or, it's okay, yes? Yeah. Masa, kikao, masa, mangapi. How many hours the meeting? Oh, masa, or, kitakua, because of ki, kitakua. Kitakua. Kis, kikao, kitakua, masa, mangapi. It will be. Mm -hmm. How many hours? Can you say? How many hours will be the meeting? Uh -huh. um, kikao yeah. uh, masa mangapi kitakua. Yeah, will be? Kitakua. Yeah, kikao kitakua. How many hours? Uh, masa mangapi. Masa mangapi. Okay, so it's meeting. Yes. How, will, how will it be? How many yeah. hours? Yeah. Kikao kitakua. The meeting will be how many hours? Okay. Kikao, kitakua, masa, yeah. mangapi. Yeah. How do you say, I will be for two hours? Yeah. How long, <laughs> How long you'll be there, for example? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you would say, uta, utakua, yeah. um, masa, mangapi? Yeah, for how many hours? Utakua, kwa masa, mangapi. Kwa, masa, yeah. kwa, yeah. masa, mangapi. Yeah. I, it's most of the time we, we have like this way. Utakuwa hapo, you'll be there, or utakuwa hapa, hapa is here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, utakuwa hapa kwa masama ngapi, but it's also okay for people to ask you, mm -hmm. uta, utafanya kazi kwa udagani. Muda is for how long? Muda gani? But this word muda, we we'll love to use more. Muda, yeah. It's the, it's yeah. 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 So instead of people to ask you how, what time would you sleep, they will say utalala muda gani. It's also common. How utakula muda gani? Instead of say sangapi. Okay. But we have so muda, wakati, and time. For example, instead of say to ta onana sangapi, a person can say to ta onana muda gani, muda gani, and another person can say to ta onana wakati gani. They all mean almost the same thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, but the response can be different. Kosababu, because Sa, you have to be exactly like with the numbers. Mm -hmm. But muda, people can say, we'll see each other at lunchtime. To mm -hmm. the muda wamchana. They don't have to say about hours. Oh, yeah, so this is, will be mostly hours. Like you have to be specific with the time, with the sa. But the muda, person can say, muda wakula, time for meal. Mm -hmm. Like almost like the moment, muda wa, muda wa, mazungumzo, conversation, conversation time. But they don't need the, yeah, muda wa, mazungumzo. This word we can use when we come to the conversation level. Mm -hmm. okay. Mazungumzo. It comes from wedi zungumza, which is also speak, but don't worry about that. We can use it mostly in the future. So this is conversation moment or conversation time. Conversation time. How do you say time for sleep by using muda? Uh -huh. Muda walala. Yeah, muda wa kulala. Ah, wa kulala. Okay. Yeah. Time for work? Uh, muda wa kazi. Muda wa kazi. But if a person say saya kazi, it's also okay. Or they say wakati wa kazi. It's also okay. So if somebody is calling you, say, oh, sasa ni wakati wakazi. Sasa ni wakati wakazi. Now it's time to work. Wakati wakazi.
uh, wakati kazi okay yeah sasa ni wakati wa kazi now it's time to work. so if person can ask you buda gani tutaonana you can also tell clock or you can say afternoon time buda gani tutaonana buda gani tutaonana onana yeah so for this you don't have to say time you can say tutaonana muda wa kula like meal time so tutaonana muda wa kikao what does it mean muda wa kikao um yeah. so we'll see each other um at the meeting yeah we'll see each other like at the during meeting almost at, at the meeting time yeah so but if they say tutaonana saa ngapi you have to talk about the time tutaonana saa mbili saa tatu so we have this one wakati wa we stay this last time wa christmas you can say we take, we talk about wakati wa mvua rain time this is different how we use wakati so if I say Tanzania, sasa ni wakati wa mvua. Oh. What does it mean? Tanzania, sasa ni wakati wa mvua. What does it mean? Uh, in Tanzania, it's now rainy season. Yeah, rain season. Yeah. If I tell you, sasa ni wakati wa darasa. Huh? No, now it's time for class. Yes, you see, we use like time, we use like moment, we use like season, so it's okay. It mm -hmm. just depends. I can say sasa ni wakati wa kula, like that. Mm -hmm. So we know how to read time, which is good. We start from 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. We start moja again, so okay. it's good. You have a question up to there, una swali? Hakuna mm -hmm. swali. Hakuna swali. Sasa. Yeah. Hakuna swali sasa. There is no question. Now, very good. Hakuna swali swali sasa. Aje sasa ni sangapi hapo. So we have difference between hapa and hapo. Hapo is like over there where you are. Uh -huh. And we have uh, pale. Okay. So we have these three words, these different hapa, hapo, and pale. <laughs> we can see so, this, hapa, that, those we can learn in the future, but yeah. Hapa, uh, sa, sa sita. Hapa, ni, sa sita. Siku? Na, na uh, dakika. Um, ishirini na uh, na tatu um, mchana. Excellent. Vizuri sana. It is 12.23, right? Uh, past 20, 23. Three minutes past 12. Correct? 20, 23 minutes past, yeah. Ah, safi sana. Vizuri sana. So if I say pale, it's what there? Pale. Pale is there. But in hapo, for example, we are standing three people uh, or two people. Yeah, three people. If I want to say she is over there, I will say there. He's over there. But if I say she's over there where you are, I will use hapo. Even if it is a thing, where is a cup? Kikombe, kiko wapi. And then I say kikombe, kipo hapo. So that means it is close to you who I'm talking to. Okay. But if it is close to me, Kiko Hapa. So, like so there here, is there, over there. Yes, exactly. Yes. Here, there, over there. Yeah. Hapa yeah. hapo pale. Also, next lesson we can check a little bit how to say these, that, and those. Okay. For a person is different, for a thing, an object. And yeah, we can do that. Zoom, we can make some Zoom sentence. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You remember how to say the months of the year? Um, no. 
Yeah, it's all about numbers. We can. I don't remember, I don't remember them all at the moment. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but you can remember the month in Swahili is Mwezi. Mwezi, yeah. Mwezi. We can do the same finish. Yeah, Mwezi. Month. But we, from March is very easy because it's just said yeah. Mwezi Watatu. April. And then mm. April would be uh, Mwezi wa uh, Tan, the Mwane. Yes. And then yes, Mwezi good. wa Tano. Yes. Mwezi wa Sita. Yeah. June. Mwezi wa Saba. Yes. Mwezi wa Nane. Yes. Mwezi wa Tisa. Yes. Mwezi wa Kumi. Very good. Then Mwezi wa Kumi na Moja. Yes. Mwezi wa Kumi na Mbili. Very good. If I say kikao, kitakuwa mwezi wa kwanza. How will, what does it mean? Um, the meeting will take place in first month, January. In January, very good. If I want to say it will be in the February, end of February. Mwezi wa pili. Na, mwezi wa pili, very good. The second month. Yeah. So kikao, kitakuwa mwezi wa kwanza na mwezi wa pili. So if person ask you kikao kitakuwa wakati gani, it's also okay to say that. Or kitakuwa muda gani. Muda also it can mean like it prolong, like how long will it be? Yeah. So muda it's mostly how long, muda gani. Mm -hmm. For example, people they can ask you, umesoma kiswahili kwa muda gani. They don't say kwa wakati gani. They don't say kwa masama ngapi, no? They'll say kwa muda gani for how long? You see how we use muda? Uh, yeah. Yeah, kwa muda gani for how long? So nime nime soma kiswahili kwa uh, mwezi um, mwezi moja. Yes, very good. Kwa mwezi moja, excellent. Mm. Kwa mwezi kwa wiki moja. kwa kwa wiki tatu. <laughs> yeah, kwa wiki tatu, excellent. Vizuri sana. Yeah. How do you tell me um, you have taught Swahili for how long? What is, oh, you, you taught, or you, yeah. Fundisha. Fundisha, excellent. Teach, uh -huh. fundisha. Ume, fundi, ume fundisha ki Swahili uh, kwa muda. Dani, very good. Ume fundisha. Kiswahili kwa muda. To put it a question, we have muda gani. Muda gani. Yeah, so this is a question itself. Umefundisha kiswahili kwa muda gani? Mimi ninaweza kusema, mimi ninaweza kusema, I can say, kusema, uh, nime fundisha, o oh, nime kuwa have been, because it's happening. Nimekuwa, <laughs> but that is okay. Okay, nimefundisha kiswahili kwa karibu, almost. Karibu. Karibu, karibu is like near, it's welcome, but yeah. it's near, near. Oh, okay. Kwa karibu, miaka, iwili. What is miaka? Miaka is years. Yes, so is almost two, two years. Almost two years. So, so if you say... Karibuya. So you were gonna write nime um nime kuyu because you're doing nime kuwa. This would mean that you finished it, right? That you yes, it. exactly. I but have to continue. Yeah, I wanted to show you, but it's okay. Nime kuwa niki fundisha. Niki fundisha. Okay. I have been teaching. It's continuous. Okay. It's when we have to learn. This is why. Okay. I yeah. just wanted to see it. You yeah, didn't very tell good. me about it too much, but I just wanted to see it. Yeah, um, very good. Yeah. But we when we if you see it and the next when it comes to the lesson, it will be easy. Yeah, exactly. Because you'll be like, oh, it's familiar. It, it's it's yeah. just good to know it exists. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah at this point, yes, very good. Enough. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. Asante sana. Asante sana, Pia. Harry, I'm welcome, Pia.
Okay, Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Mm -hmm. Richard uh, Asantes. Nchana Njema. Ndiyo. <laughs> Na wewe pia. Uh, asante sana. Asante sana. Kwaheri. Kwaheri. I hope you enjoyed that lesson of Swahili and I look forward to talking to you soon about Swahili, progress in language learning, and remember to join me on Sundays at 6 p.m. Central European time for my regular lives. And also remember to subscribe, to like, to share, and get involved with language learning with me. And I will be very happy to join you on your journey. All the best with your language learning. See you soon.